It's massive, massive, you know. Um, it's uh, it's a hell of a three points, you know. The only team to take three points from Turf Moor this season as well, and uh, and that's big because um, we studied Burnley, we looked at them, we looked at the form, 15 wins and six draws, no losses, and we looked at what teams had done here, you know, and uh, and so we tried something totally different. And and when you put it in place, you just need the boys' belief, and the boys believed today. They really believed in everything that I've asked, and you know, we, we slightly. I, I've got to credit the boys. They, they were brilliant. They've got the result for me today, and uh, and I'm the third manager in this club this season. And and the trust levels must be at an all-time low, you know. Of, uh, can we trust this manager now? There's been so many come through the door, but that goes a long way in, in cementing my relationship with them. And then the belief that they've got that they can stay in the championship. It's a great performance, and the lads deserve all the credit. They were they were awesome, and the fans, by the way, fans never stopped. You know, they really didn't. And at times. Um, the Burnley fans were a little bit quiet, and I haven't seen that. I'm a, I'm a Blackburn lad, so I, I know the rivalry, and I know coming here is a tough place to come, you know. I've, um, so it's a little bit sweeter for me, that one, but um, but I haven't seen the uh, the Burnley faithful have those moments of, of quietness, and, and and it was great to see that, and uh, the boys deserve the win today. You were under slightly in the first half. Massively, not slightly. <laughs> Massively. There was one period of play where I think they hit Rob Dickey's face hit Senny Diang and then hit the crossbar within about 10 seconds and, and I was thinking this might be our day if that's happened this might be our day and sometimes you get that but you know what you've got to take your moments as well and we did a, a thing before the game today on a, a real mental session on moments and when to take your moments and I'm not going to go into detail on what we did but um, you know historically people have soaked up pressure and then took their moments um, that's what it was about today, you know, and uh, and we didn't want to go toe to toe with the best team in the league, you know. There's no point. You, you're going to get beat. I'm sorry that Burnley, you didn't, we didn't play the way you wanted us to, but um, I needed the points. Yeah, do you look at a performance and result like that and think, why well, haven't we been doing this <laughs> for weeks and months rather than no, wait, wait, this late in the day sort of thing? No, uh, you know, I, I can I can sympathise with the players because. Like I say, I'm the third one in, fourth manager, really, if you take Paul Hall taking his games. And they've been all over the place. There's three majorly different styles of play, um, three different personalities. And, and and it just, it takes time. It really does. I think it's it's evident that, you know, the best managers get time, you know. Having said that, Vince Company's made an unbelievable start to his managerial career. You know, and uh, But he's had great resources and signed some good players. But you look in his history that the, the best managers seem to get the times, the Wengers, the, the Fergusons, you know, and and, uh, and I think that's a big testament. To that. I'm going to say that I'm a football manager, of course I want time, but um, I think it just these results go a big way in cementing relationships quickly. Um, I've never been a turnaround manager really. I've been always a builder, um, but I needed to be a turnaround manager this season to be able to build next year. And uh, and so thank you, boys. You were sensational today. Are you at the stage of the season where you look at results as soon as you get? <laughs> I was looking at results three t three weeks ago, believe me. So um, we we of course we do. Everyone's got their phones out. We're all human beings. I'm not going to be this guy who lies and tries to gloss over and pretend we're something else. Of course we do. We look at the results and think, right, another win will secure us in the championship, boys. That's what we that's what we've come down to today. And uh, and so one one swallow doesn't make a summer. One win doesn't make a, a safe season. But one win will if we get one more now at the next two games. And I and I'm really um, looking forward to. Getting my teeth stuck into both Stoke and Bristol City and seeing uh, seeing what we can do against those. Being a Blackburn lad, was there extra motivation for you coming here today to, to get three points over Burnley? Listen, I, I get stick here, and when the stick intensifies, I know I must be doing a decent job because uh, the uh, the Blackburn connection is obviously a, it's a big one. I, I've got a um, and Blackburn people will probably have a go at me here, but I've got to give Burnley credit. They're a good side. They're a good football side, you know. And the only downside of me doing this today is they may be able to win the championship at Rovers on Tuesday. And sorry, Blackburn, but I needed the points. Yeah. Will, will you be there on Tuesday? No, I'll be in Wickham. Uh, Wickham. I'll be in QPR doing the uh, doing the training. I, I wish I could be there because I've been to some of those and good mates with David Dunn. Um, we'll have a couple of messages exchanged because we're uh, we're true Blackburn fans here. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Rovers needs to get in playoffs and uh, and Burnley winning the title, but I, I'm sh I think Burnley will secure that, no problem. Uh, can Rovers get in the playoffs? It'll be a good season as long as we stay up. What made me send him on? Um, Lyndon had run his socks off. He really had, you know. Uh, 
I pulled Chris yesterday. He's my captain at the moment when everyone's fit. Chris is uh, Chris gets the armband, and and um, I said to him, the way we're setting up today, Chris, we're, we're counter attacking. I'm going to try and leave half a pitch for us to counter attack in. So what we'll do is we'll sort the pressure up and we'll try and turn them and we'll turn them on the break because Burnley are going to come out as the good side. They want the title. They're going to flood everything forward. So it wasn't a game for Chris Martin because, you know, he'll admit this as well. He isn't as quick as Lyndon Dykes. He's in as quick as Sinclair Armstrong or Jamal Lowe. So their forwards, they played. But then towards the end, Lyndon's legs gave up and I thought a bit of experience might get me a point here. I didn't realise he'd go on and get the winning goal, but um, he's been magnificent since the Dow walks in the door and uh, he's, uh, he's thoroughly deserved of that winning goal today.